understand what I have to do. There's plenty of signs though. I don't know why these aren't in Oh, signs only go to 16. Alright, let's drop. So I need to go over there, so I might die here. I can't see Jack's squat. Ah. Uh. Just one. Um. Not seeing any signs either, so I know we've already been here, but I just wanna maybe go this way. Alright, know where we are now. Let's go this way, I guess. Somebody. <laughs> Old inch pranks. What's this? Hello? Hello? What's this? Uh, is this a new place? Aha! Aha, uh -huh, bad man. Deeper into the goblin caves, you hear a far away clamoring of voices. Oh, alright. Uh, yeah, I don't have... I don't have a sword. I don't know if uh, people care. A goblin springs out of a small hole and attacks you in the chaos. Both of you are thrown off into darkness. Okay, guessing they want me to... It's the foe hammer. Alright, so. No talking to that guy. Okay. How did the goblin carry all these torches in his rags of his clothing? The goblin lay still across the floor, groaning in pain. You hear breathing slowly creeping closer. Suddenly, a skinny figure appeared and slammed a rock onto the orc's head and dragged it away. The goblin... It's a goblin, not an orc, son. Nasty goblins. Goblin is golem. Better than old bones, precious. Better than old bones. Notice that there is a ring on the floor. Without second thinking, you take the ring and place it in your pocket. Oh, the one ring, son. All right, we got some reading, son. All right, um... You hear the creature across the lake talking to himself. Suddenly, the noise stops, and a big pair of glowing eyes stare at you from the darkness before, quickly vanishing, followed by a faint splash. What? Okay, I'm guessing I have to go over here. 
What the hell? Get though. That spider's creepy looking. Not gonna lie. No. No. You should be on fire. With that. Um, oh. Quickly vanishing, followed by a faint splash. Okay. Um. Let me see what they have way out. Oh, they did do it, put his rock in. Um, I don't know. Back off, biscuit. You fool. Alright, so. Pick four the four correct answers from the wall to open the way. There's a meaty mouthful. We like to play with games. Answer our full ri four riddles and we'll show the way out. If Baggins loses, we eat it whole. What has roots and nobody sees is taller than trees. Up, up it goes, yet never grows, I think. Pretty sure, um, what, oh, the, this thing, this thing, all things devours, birds, beasts, trees, flowers, gnaws, iron, bites, steel, turns stones to meal, alive without breath, as cold as death, never thirsty ever, drinking all in mail, never clinking, cannot be heard, cannot be smelt, lies behind stars, under hills, of empty holes, life kills, laughter, it's Pretty sure. Oop. There's nobody sees. No one sees the roots. Wind, teeth, night, fish, space, sun, mountain. Oh. Hello. Oh, these are all separate things. Okay, so that's mountain. That's time. Okay, so mountain and time. Alive without breath, as cold as death, never thirsty. Uh, that's wind. Cannot be seen, cannot be felt, cannot be heard, cannot be smelt. It lies under, behind stars and under hills, and empty holes it fills. It cannot, comes first and follows after, ends life, kills life. It's darkness, right? Yeah. Alright. See if that opened it. Oh, I was like, what? Hmm. I don't 
understand. It's down here anyway. I'm guessing that means wrong. Alright, let's reread him. What has roots that nobody sees taller than trees? Up, up it goes and yet never grows. Okay, so I know that's the mountain. It's gotta be the mountain. This thing, all things devour. This thing, all things devours. Birds, trees, birds, bees, trees, flowers, gnaws, iron, bites, steel. Turns stone to meal. We'll show a way out. Maybe it's like backwards, so everything has to be flipped except for the four. Sometimes you get those redstone problems like that. Darkness, wind, and time. Let's see what this boat thing is, first of all. Because there's TNT. Seriously, I don't know if this works. Let me try it one more time and then all right, so it's wind, darkness. Is it darkness or sunlight? It's gonna be darkness and then time. One second, guys.
Alright, so I'm checking out the redstone here, and there's a creeper in the system, so I'm gonna bring him out into the water, because he's a dumb fool. Nope. No, okay. <sighs> Sad face. Pretty complicated here. Looks like someone actually does know what they're doing, though. Alright, so... <clears throat> I think I just got stuck. Oh, this guy was stuck too. This is pretty annoying. So, <clears throat> no, I really don't know. I have the right answers, I know that for those riddles because they're the same ones from the movie. So, This is their first map, so I gotta give them credit for that, but... After solving the riddles, Gollum becomes angry and tries to attack you. As you run away, you stumble, and the ring makes you... Hey, hold on here. He stole it, my precious thief! Thief Baggins! Better get out of here. Yes, we should definitely get out of here and come back to here again. Keep going. What's this? Uh, oh, we'll put a torch there. Looks like it's needing a torch. Give him my last torch. Alright. And we're finally getting out of here. I don't know what... There's so much complication in that in that redstone. I don't know if it could be something there. Or... But I am out of food. I didn't realize that there's going to be mobs. I thought they would have actually given you back your stuff like reasonably soon. Signs. From further ahead, you hear Gandalf talking to the dwarves. Where's our hobbit? I don't know. He slipped away when the goblins took us. I can tell you where he is. He ran off, saw his opportunity, and took it. Bilbo Baggins, how on earth did you make it out of there? Give me a mouse stuff for whatever this is. I'll take it. Mm hmm. Alright, uh, we need new armor, I guess. So we'll just pop some new fresh clothes on, because Bilbo Baggins uh, kind of made a mess of his pants in there. Now just... Oh my god, why is there Christmas music? I hope you guys can hear that, but that's okay. Alright. I'm going to turn it. Shut my door. Be right back. Look, this is not the holidays yet. Get over it. Okay. 
Um, all seems calmer, and orcish warhorn is blown. Out of the fire and into the frying pan, Thorin charges the battle. Well, I have nothing. Um, yeah, I know, I'm running, believe me. Thorin is in combat. I can't really uh, do much here. No, it's a little hard. Thank you. you fool, get out of there. Get get in the fire. Get in the fire. Just Ow. I'm gonna get killed. So gonna get killed. <sighs> Charge. Oh my god, this is just this is really annoying. Alright, I'll be right back. Like, they don't give me back my stuff yet. They didn't tell me not to put my sword in there, so I put it in there. As I thought it was just for the risk of the drop. really feels rushed. Like seriously, they they haven't given me back any of my stuff. There's no way for me to kill all these mobs. Like why why are these open now? Alright, I think we're just gonna finish the game. Get on my level, bro. <sighs> this makes me sad. A pair of rap talons talon, wrap around your waist and lift you into the air, the eagles. Made by my acquaintance and a second biologist. We shall pick up from where the eagles dropped you off for part two. Thanks for playing the Hobbit Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Alright, so it was really good other than the ending. Uh, I think there's a lot of technical issues. Um, and it would have helped if they gave me my uh, weapons. Doesn't mean I did put them all in the chest, so I wasn't really able to do much. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, episode 15, I believe it will be. Uh, one of my longest series ever. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully soon I'll be starting a survival series. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and here are their names again. My acquaintance and a second biologist. And as always, this has been Matt. Hey!